Hi friends, welcome back and it is Pink Lady Glue Book time. Today is a very special and important video because we're sending her into retirement and you're going to see why. Me and her had a conversation a few minutes ago and she's like, absolutely not. I'm done. One spread. That's it. And then I'll have a flip through um, very soon in the future and we will just send her to go live on the shelf with all the other glue books. Okay guys, let's get right into it. All right, friends, we're gonna open her up. This poor girl, she was like, I opened her up to work, you know, these last few pages. And she said, I am falling apart at the seams, you silly girl. Um, Literally, look at it. I have taped her the best I can, and I have learned lessons. I can go ham, but I have to do prep work. So let's go ahead and do the spread first, and then, you see what I mean? I was gonna do those, but it's, it's not happening. All right, I've taped her a little bit here, and she wanted me to end the book with a pretty pink background. So I think I'm just gonna put it in here like this because you know what, I want something right here. I'm gonna put this um, mermaid spread right here just to give us another little background. She can't, she literally can't take much more. She, <laughs> we've had so much fun in her though, haven't we? Where are all my uh, Pink Lady Glue Book fans? Let me know. I can't believe we're at the end of this one, really. I've had a lot of fun. I've got to be so creative, just basically throwing everything but the kitchen sink in here. And it's been wonderful. I know that you guys have enjoyed it because you've let me know. And thank you, by the way. I, I, I do enjoy all of the comments. And I, oh man, I'm running out of glue, hold on. I, I'm reading all the comments. I love them. I love our interactions, getting to know each other. And, you know, I think this awesome place of YouTube really has a lot of meaning to people. Right there. I'm not even looking to see if it's flat. I'm just being careful not to stab myself with the, <laughs> with the uh, stapler. Don't do that, that hurts. Okay, let me add the glue on here. Look at this beautiful flower. Now, how many of you watching have been wanting to start a glue book and recently did, you know, like in the past year? What journey are you on with glue booking? Are you, I should post this, um, I think I shall, I will, I shall, I shall, I will post this as a poll in my community tab. If you guys head over to the community tab and answer these questions there. Okay, number one, where are you in your glue book journey? A, I literally only watch the videos and I do not, uh, have plans to create a glue book. Okay, what's the next step? B, I am wanting to start a glue book and just haven't taken the step yet. C, I bought my supplies and I am ready to begin. D, I have begun and I love it. How about E? I just completed my first glue book. And I think I can do a letter F. This is not my first rodeo, but I enjoy watching your videos. All right, guys, I'm excited to hear where you're at in your journey. And for those of you in other countries, not in the US, 
first of all, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate every single one of you, no matter what country you're living in or from, I appreciate you. So just so you know, I see you. I see you when you come over. And thank you for hanging out. All right, so let me tell you a little, our send-off here. Our send-off is going to be sweet. First of all, I'm going to be doing this with images. Number one. She said, friend, 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 friend. Do you see this banana? I'm going bananas. I can't keep my pages together. I love what's on the inside, but I can't keep my pages together. I am falling apart. So banana first. Let's put it, let's put it up here where it can pop off the page. It looks like a moon. That's cute. All right. Then she said, see, I have worked it. And I'm like, you have girlfriend, you have worked it. And you deserve a break. So we are going to go ahead and give her a break, a, a, a full retirement. But, you know, this is her little retirement party, right? I love this uh, the foil on here. Let's put this. Put that over here. I sort of want to move it down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Move it down. There we go. Under that line. Then I told her, listen, honey, we have had some good times. We've had a blast. And I'm not going to glue this down just yet. Let's keep going. She deserves this piece of cake with this glittery topping and this cherry. I have been saving it, but... Do I need to fussy cut around here? I feel like I need to. Next up. So after I said, girl, you need a delicious dessert. She was like, yes, queen. <laughs> I do need a delicious dessert. So we're just going to put, where do we want to put that? I'm thinking sort of like right there. That could be fun. Or I could put, yeah, maybe that there and we'll see about that. Okay, let me add this here. I mean, good times. Made some good memories making this. And when you guys comment, I'm like, oh, somebody commented. I love it. All right, so we got that in there. Then I said, we need to take some pictures. Yes. I don't, I don't know what that sound is, but we're going to do that. So I'm just going to leave these for a minute. We want to wish her a big congratulations and us a big congratulations for, for working this to the end. Basically, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm calling it finished. So let's hold on to that. I have a lot of words in here. I don't normally do that. But the big thing we want to wish is for her to take it easy now that she's in the retirement life. So I definitely want to put this here. I thought this was fun right there. I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that sort of looks better, doesn't it? Let's see. I could do it there. Why don't I do that? I think, what do you guys think? I wish you were right here to tell me. The yellow I think looks nice with the banana. What do you guys think? I could do this. That might be better. Could do that there. Then, oh, we could put this and this here. Is this upside down? No, that is straight up. All right. Put that there. Oh, and I also wanted to give her a piece of chocolate because, hello, we could do this, do a few things on here. You guys are like, I can't see anything. Okay, we could do something like this. This is just some doodle paper that I colored. Yeah, I think we're gonna put that right there. And then I'll make this a little tip in right here. 
Finally, she wanted to give you this little message and she's saying, don't worry, my twin sister will be back here soon and we will hang out and have fun. I don't know where I want to put that. I mean, this already looks like, an, I don't want to cover up the flower. All right, she's going to have to go over here. Yeah, she says, never fear. I'll be back. Volume two, Pink Lady. So like I said, I don't know if she's going to be happening right away or the next adventure. Um, so I'll do a flip through, not today, but another day. Let me show you some of her stretch wounds and marks. So I don't know if you can see that. All right, so she was, see the gap? She was coming apart. And then like most of these pages, this one I we just recently did. You see that? Let me go over here. I should have created a spine. So, what do you guys think? Have you suggested suggested working throughout the book? I think I would have end of, um, ended up running into the same problem. So, okay, let me see if you can see this. You see that? You can see where it's all coming apart. So, the next time I work in Pink Lady, I'm going to pre-plan, and I'm going to use some, next time I'm going to use some masking tape, and I'm going probably needing to see if I can get a wider masking tape, and I can go in and just pretty much uh, set every page. Um, I might have to do a little bit more research and find out what I can do. So in the meantime, join me for when I do the final flip through. Thank you so much for sending Pink Lady off in style. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.